Hey everybody, this is Paul, and I'm about to go to the doctor here. You can see there's something really wrong with my finger here, the joint. And it's most likely, my friend has had it before from Dragon Fruit as well, but it's most likely called plant thorn arthritis, or plant thorn synovitis. And what it does is basically plant material. I had uh, a thorn stick into my finger joint here yesterday. So as you can see, it's basically a non-infectious inflammation of the joint and it's when the thorn uh, punctures your joint and it will affect that single joint uh, pretty quickly and at least in my experience some people have it take it takes several weeks to experience pain but me it was rapid it felt like a bee sting bee sting or a hot knife into my finger joint now it will be swollen and reddish and stiff and painful and you can see that's exactly kind of what I'm experiencing right now, especially really tender, and my range of motion is really, really poor. This is as far down as it goes without being really painful, and I almost kinda of wanna keep my finger at this angle all the time. Now, this just happened 15 hours ago, so hopefully it's not something that I need surgery for, but I've really, really learned a lesson. Now, here's the plant that did it, or I did it to myself, I shouldn't say. It's totally my fault. I should have been wearing thicker gloves. And it's a Hyloceris ocamponus, really, really spiny. And then I was setting it up just so onto this nice rock pile. I wanted to, I'm building a nice cactus garden with this pile of rocks at this focal point. And I'm gonna have this dragon fruit growing out of it. So really cool. Uh, so what's next? I'm gonna go to the doctor and they're gonna check me out. I may have to get some form of MRI or radiology testing because it's really hard to see if there's any thorns left behind and I may need surgery, which I'm really not looking forward to. I mean, I could get lucky, we'll see. But I've never experienced something like this, and the pain and just the intensity, it was hard to sleep last night. I've never, I mean, I've broken bones, and this is next level, it's really bad. So be very careful, and I hope that you guys don't get any thorns like this in the future into your body because you really need to respect them. Even these smaller ones like this, you know, if you just get it right at the wrong angle. So what I have, I did is I was holding the plant like this and I think that the longer spine went right into my finger joint. I mean, that's the only way I can make sense of it. So I'm gonna be much more cautious from now on. I really learned a lesson and I hope you learned a lesson from me. All right, I'll let you know what happens. Give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming. Actually, I should try this one. Ugh. I guess I gotta do that. Okay, be really careful guys, seriously. Respect Hyloceres spines. Hey everybody, it's Paul, and let me give you the update on my big mistake, so hopefully you'll never do what I did. So, about 40 hours ago I got injured by Hyloceres ocamponus with a spine that went into my uh, finger joint, the joint of my finger about there. And so what has happened is it actually swelled up even more last night. It kind of peaked, looked like a unicorn, but the swelling has gone down, probably because they're, um, I'm on my third dose of antibiotics now. So what happened yesterday is I went to my primary care physician and she decided to send me to the ER because she was worried about septic arthritis. And that is a very dangerous situation where you would have to have um, IV antibiotics. It would be an inpatient thing. So that kind of freaked me out, and then I went to the ER, and right away they gave me some x-rays. And so you can see here my hand, which is pretty cool. I, know, I, I was excited to get some copies, believe it or not, and they could not find anything, which is common with uh, uh, spines, believe it or not. They may not show up on x-rays. So from there, they recommended I see a specialist, and um, I use heat on the wound. So I came home, got a call the the specialist and went right back down where the specialist saw me and they are going to get me with a hand specialist hopefully today and an MRI so basically if there's anything left inside uh, the joint of my finger it will become uh, plant joint joint arthritis or plant joint synovitis and it will be permanent so I actually will damage my finger so if I have an MRI and they don't see anything well, I may not have to have surgery, but if there's anything they detect, they will have to surgically remove whatever organic uh, plant material from San Lorenzo is in my, in my finger. 
So I'm not too excited, but that's basically where I'm at. So MRI and most likely surgery to remove whatever is still in there. Um, but I could get lucky. Maybe nothing is actually inside the joint and it's just really inflamed. So that's where I'm at. Uh, you can see they also gave me a splint so that I am not to move it and I'm to keep it elevated and to apply heat to it. So I'm just really happy the swelling's gone down a bit, believe it or not. So that is where I'm at. So I'll find out today how the MRI goes. And please, wear some gloves or just, I mean, what I did is I'll never ever bend my finger tight like that and let a, a thorn go into the top. That's just exactly what happened. So if you wanna try it, bend your finger exactly like that and then feel where the pressure is right here. That's is exactly where the uh, dragon fruit thorn went in through the gloves. So please don't make my mistake. I'm gonna invest in some legit gloves so I can basically manhandle or human handle, I should say, these lovely dragon fruit plants sooner than later. But man, if I have surgery, I'm gonna be out for a while. Like, ugh, I, I won't be able to do some, build some trellises, so I'll be super bummed. All right, there you go. So there you guys go. Give me a like and subscribe and please learn from my really stupid mistake. Or maybe it's unlucky, I'm not sure. Maybe a bit of both. Beautiful morning here, and it's two weeks to the day. I have my MRI results here, or the data, I guess. I'm gonna get it read by a specialist right now. It's cost me several hundred dollars, and that's with insurance. And it's been a lot of pain. So the good news is, whoops, is that it feels pretty good up until about there. So I'd say it's about 80% better. But once you get here, it feels like a tight, painful, like, bee sting right here in this around the whole joint. So it's definitely still not normal. Uh, all right, well, let's go see what the specialist says, and I'll tell you the results. Okay, so great news. The MRI did not detect anything left into my joint, in the joint. So no thorn or plant material is left behind, so I don't need surgery. Now, the swelling will go down in time. He said it may take up to a month or two, which is a little shocking to me. But hey, that's better than having to get it cut open. So again, it's just gonna take time and I just need to take it easy. Now you can see here that up close San Lorenzo is what got me but I need to be careful with some of the other plants I collect as well. So you can see my Apuntia varieties have even more dangerous or sharp thorns. As well, you need to be really careful for agaves. So agave thorns are very, very sharp and are known to cause uh, plant joint synovitis or plant joint, joint arthritis. So lesson learned, I'm gonna invest in a nice pair of really thick gloves I still haven't found the ones I want to use yet, but I'll let you know when I do. So thanks a lot. A lot of people uh, give us comments about the finger thing and asked how I'm doing. So I appreciate that. And uh, I hope you learn from me. Again, do not make this mistake. And I'm gonna approach really sharp cacti and hyloceres and things like that in the future with a much more cautious approach. So lesson learned.